I'd like to take a couple of minutes with you, Dr. Narell, to talk about your foundation and about your Friends Club. So can you tell us about, first, let's start with the foundation. Tell us what your foundation's name is. Our, the foundation's name is Ho Aloha. So Ho Aloha Foundation. It uh, means friend in Hawaiian. And our foundation was, was um, conceived to help young adults um, after some of the funding sources kind of run out. So this is after high school, or it can be in high school, and to help with um, that transition to community college, to work, um, to be social, continue to be social, having a social network. And uh, we're really excited because we're, we're funding um, a, a young man to go on a special uh, field trip back east with um, his school. And the other foundation that I have is called the Cynthia Norell Foundation. And the purpose behind that is um, an opportunity for families to get things like iPads. Um, I'm hoping at some point to even uh, contribute towards a service dog for our family. So I'm really excited about both of our foundations. Okay, so how can people find out more about these uh, foundations and potentially participate? Okay, Ho Aloha Foundation has is Ho H O and then Aloha A L O dot org foundation. Excuse me, Ho Aloha Foundation dot org, and the Cynthia Norell Foundation will also be on dot org. Um, that website is um, going to be going live pretty soon. Okay, and they can contact. Uh, via the foundations, and um, there's also um, information about the different scholarships that we do on our websites and also applications. Okay, and so if people, you know, frequently um, people want to make donations uh, to different organizations, what, are you looking for donations ideally that are monetary, or are you looking for donations of other things as well? Well, we are looking for both. Uh, for Hoaloa, we're looking for some individuals that would like to um, participate with our young adults. That would be great, participating in their time or participating in their efforts of, of helping to find out organizations and businesses that will support our, um, our young adults. And we're also looking for monetary um, donations as well. For the Cynthia Norell Foundation, we're looking more for those that are looking for some support. Um, that is a foundation that I've set up as more of a, a private foundation. Okay. It's not a non-public. Well, we get people who write us all the time who are looking for where can I um, find a place for a grant for an iPad or where can I find support for... Uh, so So when I get somebody, I will be happy to send them to you, but where where is the best place for me to send them to in the interim until your website is up. They can do it from drcynthianorell.com. Okay. All of the websites are connected to Dr. Cynthia Norell, and that's N O R A L L.com. Okay, great. So talk to us a little bit about the Friends Club. Well, Friends Club is a program that I started back in 1999 because I wanted to provide a social skills slash social, social thinking or social cognitive program for kids on the end of the spectrum where they're very verbal um, and they're able to do a lot more of that cognitive kind of thinking. And our Friends Club has morphed into this wonderful program where it's for kids from three to young adults and I have different groups and we have about six to eight per group and we run our groups in the evenings here in our Carlsbad office and we also run them in, in our Hawaii, Hawaii office. And it's a safe place for these kids to come in and be with some other kids that are like them that have similar interests. But then we also merge in a therapeutic component too because we've got lessons that we're trying to teach, whether it's like, like you were saying earlier, the perspective, thinking about others. What I always tell the kids is that um, my kinds of kids or the kids on the spectrum are think thinkers and the other types of people are people thinkers. And so when they come to Friends Club, they'll often say, oh, it means I get to make a friend. And I'll say, yes, absolutely. But what one thing you're learning is to think about how people thinkers think and to kind of um, interpret that for them. 
I love that. So it's a safe, so it's a safe place, but at the same time, the anxiety is kind of reduced because they, these are kids that are very aware that they're different and they're very aware that there's things that they don't do very well. And so when they come in here, they get to see other kids that are working on similar kinds of things. And, um, just kind of a little bit of a plug for my own two children, um, not on the spectrum, but they're grown now they're, they're in college, but my daughter was helping me out when she was nine. And one of the things that she would say, is mommy you're teaching them things that we already know they just don't know them and so it was really cool and validating for me that that she was able to give me that perspective and um it's been a lot of fun we enjoy them well, you're doing an incredible body of work. Uh, what an amazing gift you are, in the, especially in the Carlsbad area, but you also have um, offices in Hawaii, correct? Correct. We used to have an office in Northern California in Napa, but that one um, we no longer have. So we're just down. We just have Carlsbad and then Hawaii. Okay, well, a gift in both of those places. We want to encourage people to go to your website, Dr. Cynthia Norral with two L's.com, or to go to casefamily.com, C A S E family, F A M I L Y.com to find out more information. And of course, we encourage people to pick up your book, which is Quirky Yes, Hopeless No. The subtitle is Practical Tips to Help Your Child with Asperger's Syndrome Be More Socially Accepted. And as we mentioned, in a previous part of the interview. You can get that on Amazon.com. You can also get it in Barnes & Noble. 